going on, Jerome. So, yes, it, it is very, very early in the season. It's only two games, blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing. Like, people who naturally uh, want to hate on Sling and Sam Darnold and the Vikings, they're like, eh, it's just one game, Miss Giants. Eh, it's just two games and Fortnite and Hammond McCarthy. Uh, 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 and also, then it's going to be, oh, eh, it's only been one season. It's only one Super Bowl. Whatever. Blah, 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 blah. But. So far, early returns, slinging Sam Darnold, a.k.a. America's quarterback, having pretty damn amazing, man. So he was out there completing 72% of his passes, 476 passing, uh, four touchdowns, a 111.8 quarterback rating, which is which is good. Uh, plus, I, I still can't get over that last game-clinching drive, man. Just absolute onions. No Jefferson, no Addison, no Hawkinson, a couple of key third-down throws to Naylor and Brandon Powell. Woo! Come on, man. But yeah, Sam Darnold is looking good. But, of course, here with the Vikings, the dynamic is the dynamic is interesting. So you have future franchise quarterback, 21-year-old J.J. McCarthy, first-round pick, number 10 overall, highest-drafted quarterback in team history, and looked really damn good in camp, looked really damn good in preseason, uh, and he is the future franchise quarterback. Kevin O'Connell had said so, but, of course, circumstances do change from time to time. But also, hey, so first off, we, we do need to say that whatever happens with Sam Darnold, so Sam Darnold's playing the best ball of his career. Kurt Cousins was playing the best ball of his career with Kevin O'Connell as well. Matthew Stafford, who had won F all with the Lions, comes to the Rams. Kevin O'Connell, who he gives a lot of credit to, uh, wins a Super Bowl, and also the whole passion out thing. Right. And now you have to feel good. You have to feel good about the coaching infrastructure that's going to be here with J.J. McCarthy when eventually he does take over, right? It just, it just makes you feel good. Nah. Uh, Kevin O'Connell is never beating these quarterback whisper allegations, right? But, you know, J.J. McCarthy, like we said, looked really damn good uh, in his single preseason game before going down with a meniscus repair. Uh, and now, like, th there's going to be a decision. And we, we've said this a bunch all through the offseason. The best possible scenario for the Vikings is if Sam Darnold makes this a, a difficult decision. And it certainly could be that uh, as the games roll along and stack up. Plus, it's not like Darnold is just out there being a caretaker, being a game manager. Um Mm -hmm. uh, but he's going vertical like, like he's chucking the ball downfield he's making plays he's looking really really comfortable and yeah the Giants is one thing even though they have the, one of the best D lines in the game but doing it against the San Francisco 49ers uh, one of the best defenses in the National Football League I mean it's something that definitely has to raise an eyebrow and it makes you have to ask the question what's going to happen with Darnold uh, after the season now yes like we said long 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 ways to go but I mean, the season's only 17 games, plus playoffs, plus Super Bowl. So, I mean, things are going to become a fast and furious. Uh, and also remember, Darnold is only 27 years old. He turned 27 in June. So, he still has a long window of a firm prime. And now, like, you're starting to see all that potential that made him the number three overall pick in 2018. And it's just like everything you see with Caleb Williams and Daniels uh, and, and Bo Nix right now. Like, environment matters. Like, protection matters, coaching matters, weapons matter, right? And Darnold's never had that, and now he finally does, and you see what's happening. So, potential outcomes, uh, you let Darnold walk in 2025, and he signs somewhere for a large contract, where given the makeup of the 2025 draft class right now, like, there isn't a clear-cut Tier 1 quarterback. Like, Shador, mm, Ewers, mm. I mean, I mean, Carson Beck, I was, mm, nah. like, you're not even sold on anyone. And, and even surefire can't miss guys like from this draft, whether it's uh, Williams, Daniels, or May, is like, uh, and Phil can be kind of tough for rookies, right? Uh, so Darnold, Darnold's going to get paid. Like, like we're talking about 45, somewhere in there, at, at least, uh, a major, major deal, because the demand for quarterbacks doesn't go away. Uh, could you imagine Darnold just back with the Giants? I mean, why not? Yeah, N Never discount, hey, that the guy played well against us scouting. I say it all the time. But Vikings let Darnold walk in 2025. Now, they could be in line for a potentially third-round compensatory pick in 2026 then. But also, I, I do think that the Vikings are going to be major players in free agency, so that could be a wash. So, yeah. uh, franchise tag. Now, I think this is probably the least likely 
uh, of the, uh, of all the options, and we'll, we'll we'll talk about why. So, franchise tag this year for the quarterback was thirty eight point three million in twenty twenty four. Now the Vikings have uh, sixty million plus in cap in twenty twenty five, but with the franchise tag, single shot, forty million. I don't know. I think if Darnold is back, uh, a short term extension is much more likely. Now it would be more guaranteed money than the single year, uh, but it would give you the flexibility to add some void years, uh, spread out those cap hits, so it isn't as impactful in 2025. Uh, so then you could still uh, go out and be uh, big time spenders in free agency, especially along the interior offensive line, maybe D line. Sure, sure, why not? But also. So short-term extensions, like two, three-year variety, essentially they're they're one-year deals. Like you got the sign and bonus, and generally the first year is guaranteed. Everything else after that basically is toilet paper. That's essentially what happened because we, we've compared Darnold's 2024 to Baker 2023 and Geno 2022, and both those guys you know got the short-term three-year extensions with their respective teams uh, after their breakout season, but. Their dynamics were different because they didn't have a uh, heir apparent quarterback uh, waiting in the wings like uh, Sam Darnold does in this spot. Long term extension, actually, th- that's the least likely scenario. Like, you know, barring Darnold winning league MVP and winning a Super Bowl and Super Bowl MVP, I-, I I just don't see them signing him up to four or five years. Even though basically the back end of those deals are just toilet paper, so it would be like a one or two year deal. But I, I, I just don't see that. But also a tag and trade could be in place. So instead of just letting him walk, so remember, like when you have the franchise tag, like it has a, a short term cap hit, like it is not a long, like he's not on your books, right? Uh, so if you work out a deal to tag Sam Darnold and then, and then you trade him to another team, now it's never the two first round picks and um, offer sheet deal. Like that never works out like that. More likely it would be like a, second and a third, second and a fourth in terms of the tag and trade, uh, depending on demand. Could be more. Who, who knows, man? But like, like I said, we're, we're very, very early in this process, but it gives you something to think about. And Darnold is playing extremely, extremely good football right now, and he's only going to get better and better. Uh, but with J.J. waiting in the wings, I mean, you, you've seen how these rookies have performed. And w- would McCarthy be in a similar situation, even with uh, with better personnel and coaching around him? I, I, I mean, maybe. But it, like we said, it, it does make you feel good that Kevin O'Connell has gotten the best out of Stafford and Kurt, and now slinging Sam Darnold, and he's going to do that with McCarthy. But I, I mean, you just got to feel happy about Sam Darnold, man. Like he, he's looking really damn good. The the Vikings are winning because of him, not in spite of him, or not with him. And I think that this is something that's very translatable. He looks very confident back there, looks very comfortable, and that's a big testament to him and his work and his talent that everyone knew was there, but you just didn't see it with the Jets and the Panthers, and also the coaching of Kevin O'Connell and Josh McCown and Wes Phillips and Grant Udinsky. I mean, it's looking really good right now. Kind of knock on wood because we're Vikings fans. Hmm. Uh, anyways, your thoughts are thoughts. Sling and Sam Darnold, aka America's quarterback, uh, could be Vi- putting the Vikings to a tough decision this offseason in a good way, in the absolute best way. Uh, let us know your thoughts, our thoughts, comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.